Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about too advanced work. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I started a software development job that is too advanced for my experience. What should I do? Well, I would write it out, dude. That's what I would do. So you have to kind of feel feel this one out because if you I, I'm not saying that you should just stick around until you get fired what I'm saying is that if you feel that this is too advanced it, you should definitely start with looking for other opportunities because uh, it, it you have to kind of play this one by ear I can't give you a definitive answer because the thing is even if it feels like that this is too advanced for you. It might be the case that your company will accept that you need a little bit of a time to learn and in that time you might actually get enough uh, knowledge or enough meat on your bones to actually to meet the requirements. It might be that you are self-conscious. You do, it might be that the ex you are, are actually ex you, you're actually meeting the expectations of the company without you even knowing it. That's something that you really need to figure out actually. There are many developers who feel like the worst developers who ever lived, especially in the beginning of things, but they're actually meeting expectations. I've had this conversation with more than a few juniors where they've come to me and like in many cases they don't even have to say it because I can see it in their eyes and in the way that they uh, they, they they try to find ways to communicate that they are nervous or and uh, they are they're fishing for compliments or for confirmation that they're doing a good job uh, from the senior developers. And it's really easy to, uh, I mean, you can crush a junior in that situation if you don't know, if you don't talk to them in a way that is very carefully thought out. And so what I usually do is that I actually just cut through the bullshit and I say, dude, I just want you to know that I understand that this is scary for you and I understand that you're trying to to learn all these things and there's so much to learn but you're doing a good job I just want you to know that you are doing a good job I know that it doesn't it might not feel that way because everything is new and everything is scary but we wouldn't be we wouldn't keep you in the company if we thought you were a bad programmer you're doing well and if you need any help talk to us We'll see if we can work something out. By simply saying those words, usually the, the, that that changes the mindset. So I mean, for you, you have. To, I mean, this is not. You're not going to be able to trust that every single person you work with is going to give you this sort of insight or to tell you this sort of thing. Uh, sometimes you have to ask for it. You might have to. Uh, to ask for an evaluation and that might be scary for you as well but you should at least start there so that you don't assume that you're actually too inexperienced to work in that place but let's say for the sake of argument that you actually have fairly good grounds to think that you are in inexperienced or that this work is way too advanced well in that scenario I would start looking for other opportunities because it's just a matter of time before you get fired unless as I said that you're able to actually reach to a point where you are able to meet the requirements because no company and no no team no matter who you work for they're not going to have endless patience they're going to expect to see an improvement in your performance at some unknown point every company is different some companies expect it on day one and some companies expect it after quite a few months or like in extreme cases maybe over a year but they're going to expect you to to improve at some point and if you don't feel like you can meet those expectations it's really good for you if you start looking for other opportunities earlier because getting fired is a bad thing for you if you leave you can at the very least say that you left the company because you felt you, you can always you can spin that in a good way. I mean, you can spin being fired as well. It's just that it's a little bit harder to spin that you get fired than it is to spin that you just quit of your own volition. So that's what I think that you should do. You should start looking for other opportunities as soon as you can and see if you can find an environment where the work may not be so advanced and then try to ride it out, basically.
that's what I'm saying. Uh, you can of course quit immediately as well, but you have to remember that even if you're in an environment where things are too advanced, unless it's really taking an emotional toll on you and you really feel bad, you're still learning things. And I think that that is something that is very underestimated by a lot of developers, where even in a bad place of work, or even in a boring place of work, or a place where you don't see yourself spending the rest of your life, there are lessons to be learned. There are lessons to be learned in every job, regardless of which one you take. If you have the right mindset about it, and you're actually paying attention, and you're more than a code monkey, and developing the tr those traits to take lessons from all the places that you work and the people that you interact with, these are the traits that will make you a rock star programmer or a super coder or a super senior or something like that. Not paying attention to what lessons can be learned in each company and what's uh, because every company has things that they do really well and things that they do, do really bad and if you don't pay attention to that stuff and reflect on it you're missing out on a lot of important lessons so I think that you should see if there are any lessons left to be learned at this company before you move on but ultimately if you feel this way you should move on so what I want you to take away from this is that if you're dealing with a work environment where the work is too advanced try to make sure that that's not just an internal voice first and foremost because it's very it is extremely normal that software developers especially junior ones feel as if they're doing a good they're doing a bad job even though that might just be the trolls in your head trying to, to put you down and you might just uh, be spending too much time in your head and the expectations that you, the people have on you might actually you might actually be meeting them sure you might not be the best programmer there but and sure your company might want to see you do better but that's not really the question the question is are you good enough are you good enough to be at that company and you I mean if you continue working you're going to improve and you're going to meet the expectations even the higher ones but are you good enough that's the real question if you have on good authority that you're not good enough then the clock is ticking and I think that you should start looking for other opportunities so that at the very least you can quit on your own terms which is a very good thing and then find a place of work where it's not so advanced to work and then finally remember to pay attention to the lessons that can be taught at that company because even if you have a horrible co-worker or you have a shitty place of work or things aren't really working out there's usually always something to learn from that environment and while you're looking for that next opportunity pay attention and try to really reflect on what is the what, what is the problem in this company what is do going well and what's not going so well and really think about that and see what you find out have a great day